welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow yeah just ripping it in here uh, let's hope he really has four five or something like i don't know ace queen of spades Well, if GG bans me at some point, I uh, will just move over to another platform, I guess. <laughs> I hope they don't. I really like it, to be honest. We do some checkbacks too, but Deuces want to bet mainly for protection against over cards, I think. Mm. He's quite bluff heavy, so although I really hate my hand, I'm going to defend here. Hope he blocked single heart holdings here. Perfect. Yeah. So we had a note on him saying that he likes to bluff uh, into pre flop aggressors. So that's why I call deuces. Usually I would just fold their own return. Three bet spot here. Defended queen jack of clubs against a small blind three bets. And he goes for a third. We do have backdoor clubs and a gutter. So easy call here on the flop. That's a club. Let's hope he goes check. I really don't want to call a big bet here. Yes, that's nice. Um, just checking it back. And try to realize equity here. Bing city. So he's going to check Ice King a lot too. When he checks the river, I don't think we're getting much value. We might still call something like Ace Queen Ace Jack. We block that though. But yeah, we just have to bet. Let's hope he calls. He's thinking about it. Oh, a fan! Thank you. Let's go. Let's go of the Ace. All right. I open queen 10 of hearts, big blind defense, we do flop trips, he, we see that he check raises the flop and now goes super super large on the turn. I cannot fold trips here, but I'm really scared of a better queen or pocket fives. Uh, let's go to the river. If he goes super large here, I think I will not. I think I will not. He checks it now. Wow. I actually don't think we get many calls here. Checking this one back looks so nitty, but his line was so strong too. So strong too. I'm gonna be a nit and check it back. Just went for the bluff. Could have gotten it. If he shoves the river on folding. He shoves the river on folding. It's king. Three betting the cutoff here. Does look quite decent so far. Uh, we're gonna bet the paired board. Not having a heart kind of sucks though. Wonder whether we just want to go a third on the queen pair. Gonna continue. Uh, if we get something like eights now, like eights, nines, tens to fold here. Would be quite nice, right? So I'm gonna go for a block sizing. And we still have some outs. Don't think he has a queen here that often. We are ahead of like random flush draws. I'll give it up against him. I really have no reads right now. Again, the spot that's a bit weird. I think he has a low pocket a lot. Oh, he does not bluff the clubs. Oh my. You need to bluff. <laughs> a set and then a boat on the turn. And two players are still in. Two players are still in. Let's see if we can get some action. Um, I guess we just jam here. If he jams now, he has pocket sixes. Welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. 
yeah, just ripping it in here. Uh, let's hope he really has 4-5 or, or something like, I don't know, Ace-Queen of Spades. Boom, boom, boom. How do you have aces in this spot, ladies and gentlemen? How do you have aces? <laughs> oh my god, aces. All right, I'm going to show you how to play pocket aces. Not the way he played it, but aggressively. Standard bet here. Again, on a paired board, I would prefer... Like, I would usually go uh, half pot, but when it, the pair is a Broadway card, we can go lower, I think. He's a fun player, so he will still call all pairs. I will continue barreling here. And against him, this is actually a bad fold. Shouldn't really have that many fours, right? So we're still gonna go for a bet. And if he shops now, we have an easy fold. But I still want to go for value against uh, lower pockets. All right, he has the jack, obviously. Nice hand, sir. Six five. Uh, his sizing is too small. He should go at least ten. Uh, just defending here. See a flop. Not really a flop for us, is it? Mm, I'm not barreling here. Turn the gutter. Turn the gutter. We want to call here. This looks like Ace X a lot. So if we hit a four, we can win a super big pot. That's not one of them. Uh, wow. Oh, I have to bluff here, right? Six high. <laughs> but it's not gonna work a lot. It's not gonna work a lot. Uh... Oh, yeah. All right. Ace queen. Uh, pocket queens. Shorty opens. Nothing but three bet shoving, calling, whatever. Just get the money in here. Yeah, let's go. Good luck to you. Aces. Yeah. Uh, you can decide, I don't care. All right, let's run it twice. We might get lucky once. <laughs> Probably not though. Ooh, bink the queen. GG! <laughs> uh, sometimes you just run well. Mm, definitely a board we want to check back a bunch. Especially against this guy who cold calls aces. But don't. That's basically a check. I'm not even counting that as a bet. Let's go to the turn. That's probably the best turn card in the deck, right? I'm gonna raise this one up. Calls. Uh, we do not get there, unfortunately. So a bluff is necessary. The seven is not a good card, though. But I'm not checking back queen high. Calls. Of course he made trips. Oh, why don't you give us a diamond? Three betting queen, small blind versus big blind, king high board. I still want to go for a C bet here. And then on the 10, I will just check it back. Don't want to value on myself against king X. We lose some value against uh, stuff like ace jack, ace 10, but. Let's just check it back. King is actually a really great card now. Make it, it's quite unlikely for him to have a king now. Let's see what happens. If he checks, I think we want to bet for value. Yeah. 
so just betting for value here and I'm gonna go quite large yeah it looks like ace jack a lot take it down 